Welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and I'm standing in front of a beautiful 1966 Chevelle, big block under the hood, 136 car, black interior, four speed. You're gonna love checking this one out. So go to our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. We're gonna get it up on the lift so you can see just how nice this uh, bottom side is. Then we'll get under the hood and check that out. We'll take a look at the black interior. We're gonna show you everything you wanna see so you can make a great decision on your 66 Cheval investment. So come on up and we'll fire this big block up. So take a nice close look. All this chrome looks brand new. That grill's in great shape. The trim on the front of the hood looks good. The chrome emblem looks great. This jet black paint is slick as can be. That body line is nearly perfect. It's nearly perfectly flush with the front fender too. The line here on the door, just maybe a tiny bit tighter at the bottom, perfectly lined up, and that paint is slick and smooth. All the uh, stainless around the front windshield here, it's in good shape. It doesn't look brand new, but it's in fantastic shape. Drip rail, same thing, it's in great shape. Door handle looks like it's new. These door jams look new, look at that, beautiful. You can see they had to latch out when they did the restoration. That big long quarter panel there, paint works nice and straight there. Beautiful, you know black paint shows everything. So you better be a good body man if you're gonna paint a car black. Guy did a great job here. Wheel lip mowings look good, and of course, Craigers. Man, that's what I'd put on this car. Beautiful uh, chrome there on the back bumper. Inside the trunk, nicely finished in here. We got a little bit of um, flooring in here, beautiful. All the speckle paint looks good. Bottom side of the deck lid looks good. Great looking stickers here also. The lips on the bottom of the deck lid are in great shape. When you look down the side of the car, that tells the story. Look at all those reflections. Beautiful. That door's lined up nice and the gap's nice and straight. It operates nice. The door lips here look good. And at Vanguard Motor Sales, we are the largest non-consignment dealer in the U.S. That's right, we own all of our vehicles here. We've got about 192 right now in stock. And when they come here to the shop, we inspect them so we can answer all your questions when you call Tom at 248-974-9513. Now let's take a look at this black interior. Look at that door panel, beautiful. Armrest looks good, the chrome on the door looks great. Carpeting looks beautiful, it's brand new. Four speed shifter, great looking steering wheel, great looking dash too. That's an aftermarket upgraded dash in there. All the chrome looks good. Looks like we've got seat belts in the front. We've got some six by nine speakers back there. Headliner looks great. Dome lights working. And take a look at the dash pad. She is beautiful. Looks like 1966 in there. All right, guys, we got the 66 Chevelle here in the shop, and we got its butt stuck out the door here. Unfortunately, the weather's a little bit rough for us to be taking this thing out. It's just too nice to do it with the weather the way it is. We wouldn't want to get it wet. Um, outside of that here, we'll show it to you just as much as we can with it sitting here idling. I mean, for starters, this is the kind of car that everyone that's driven this car comes back with a smile because it drives so much better than what you would expect it to drive. It drives like a brand new car. I mean, it runs excellent. It's got, of course, you can see it's got the modernized dash in the thing. Um, you can see we've got, uh, let's see here, fuel, temp, uh, mile per hour, RPM, all of it seems to work just fine. Voltage, oil pressure, we got excellent oil pressure, tells us this motor is very healthy. It sounds very healthy. Uh, as far as we got lights, all that seems to work. They got the dimming right in this thing. Whoever put this in there, I give them credit. They wired it correctly. And look at that, we got wipers, whole nine yards. We got a radio, that's working. Look at this, we've got ice cold AC. 
and of course I'm, I'm kind of modulating it with my foot a little bit here to make sure the compressor don't drag the motor down but I mean like the AC works absolutely great on this thing even like the dash to defrost controls all of it works well I mean I really give this guy credit he really did a good job when he put this thing together I mean the interior it's so very tastefully done a lot of the time you get the resto mods where it's just all out this thing I really give this guy credit I really like this one I mean the horns working on it it runs great interior is beautiful on this thing uh, I invite you guys to come in and drive this thing this is one of those cars where you'll fall in love with it within just a couple miles I mean this 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 one's very very impressive not to mention it's a 66 Chevelle the bodies on these things it's one of the most intimidating yet elegant muscle cars that GM ever came out with it I absolutely love these things Four-speed transmission, four on the floor. It's got an auto gear four-speed in the thing. This is a like an aftermarket style Muncie. It shifts awesome. Uh, and of course, you've got like, you would never know that it's an aftermarket transmission too because it looks just like a stock shifter, you know? Very, very cool. I really like this car. I mean, this thing, it, it, this thing's got my seal of approval. Uh, at this point, we're gonna go and throw it up on the hoist. We're gonna show you, either me or Greg is gonna show you the engine, the transmission, and take you through all the, uh, the technical specs of it. And like I said, there's a couple little trick things done to it that's very tasteful, but it all matters and it all adds up to a very, very well driving car. I mean, it's, it's a mechanical ballet, this one is. So uh, stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, this is the underside of our 66 Black Chevelle. Uh, it's pretty darn nice underneath. There's quite a few uh, custom things under here that we're gonna go through. Um, and for starters, the gas tank looks like it was replaced just as recently. You can see that it's had a relatively fresh exhaust put on it. As far as uh, metal work goes, I mean, all this is nice and solid. There's no rust or anything like that. Maybe it might have been patched. It may not have been. I can't really tell. It looks like it, I think it has been actually. Or maybe it was a trunk pan that was put in this car, I believe is what we have going on here. It looks like they did a pretty good job with their metal work. Uh, the other side looks to be similar. Very, very nice job replacing it. Moving forward of that, you can see uh, a brand new gas line in the thing. Looks like all of the wiring is fairly nice. You can see, uh, continue to have a brand new exhaust up here, brand new brakes on this thing, or brand new brake lines, I should say. And as far as brakes go on the rear, we do have disc brakes. It looks like an SS uh, BC setup, Stainless Steel Brake Corporation. They always make really nice stuff, and it looks like it's uh, installed fairly well. We've got brand new springs on the thing. Um, and then what the springs are attached to, this here is a, uh, a GM 12 bolt rear end. It houses, a, I think, roughly a 331 gear ratio uh, axle or ring and pinion in it. It is posi and uh, it's, it's just a, it drives just fine. You can see here we got also a brand new uh, rear brake hose on the thing. And uh, what's holding the rear end in the car here, you can see we've got these aftermarket uh, bo fully boxed in uh, four link arms here. I believe these are Hotchkiss, but I could be wrong on that. There is no label on them, so uh, we're gonna leave that one open to uh, interpretation. You can see here, we've also got a, uh, looks like a performance sway bar in this thing. And I've been told from the mechanic that worked on this car, this thing drives well enough like you could drive it to work every day. This apparently was a very, very nice car. No squeaks, no rattles. And it really doesn't come as a surprise looking under here because, you know, attention to detail, that's what makes a nice car, you know? And this looks like this guy actually took quite a bit of time to make sure everything was done properly. Uh, you do got uh, big old pipes on this thing, um, and uh, of course it's all fresh all the way to the front here, and it's all one nice big solid piece of pipe as opposed to a whole bunch of links and stuff like that that all are prone to leaking and failure and what have you. Uh, everything, all the connections are welded, and you know what's not welded, it's all just one solid pipe. Very nice work, I'm, uh, I like to see this. Um, both of our U-joints are good, we always check them during our inspections, and both of them checked out just fine. They look like they're actually brand new in the thing. Um, right here, this is a, uh, it's a Muncie type transmission, however, Muncie did not make this. This is actually an auto gear transmission. I looked these guys up, apparently this is, pre it's, it's actually quite a bit nicer than the Muncie transmissions in the, in the sense that it's essentially a Muncie, if it were to be produced nowadays. It's got, uh, you know, a, a lot better clearances in it and things of that nature. The case looks a lot tougher than a normal Muncie. I mean, it, these are apparently some, some pretty bad, bad uh, transmissions here, and by bad I mean badass. It's, uh, I like it, you know, and it, it's, uh, you can just tell by the, machi the external machine work on the thing, it's a nice trans, and according to the mechanic that worked on the car, it shifted nice. So uh, outside of that, moving forward, you can see we do have headers on this thing, looks about uh, like, I don't know, about mid-length headers on it. So a nice, uh, uh, you know, I guess uh, in between high RPM and uh, low end torque, you know, a very, very streetable header for the thing. Moving forward to that, you can see all like the front cross member on the car, the frame, all of it looks good. Right around here is a really popular spot for these things to rot. 
And you can see here, everything looks just fine. You don't see any dirt up in the, in the uh, drain hole. Same thing on this side, no dirt that I see. Everything looks nice and solid on the thing. I can see a big old aluminum radiator from here. Um, this is a, uh, the big block Chevy that's under the hood of this thing. And just from the bottom side here, I can see we've got uh, power steering on this thing, a big old front sway bar. And then even on the power steering, I can see a whole lot of nice stainless lines and things like that. I mean, there was a lot of work that went into this car, making sure that it was kind of updated. And I also got to point out the big old monstrous uh, tubular lower control arms and upper control arms on this thing. Looks like a stainless steel brake corporation as well. Maybe, maybe not. I can't tell, but front discs nonetheless on this thing. Very, very nice. Looks like all your ball joints, all the uh, front end components were all replaced. You give it a shake. I mean, it doesn't move. Not, not nothing. I like it a lot. Uh, and a lot of the time you'll see your idle or arm slop when you do that and stuff of that nature. Tires look like they're in great shape, which tells you the alignment's in good shape on this thing. It's pretty sweet. Um, I guess at this point we'll check out uh, wheels and tires and go take a look at the motor. All right, guys, uh, we got 225 60 R15s, and with all that more modern, well, I guess you should say modern upgrade type stuff underneath this car, we've still got the old school look. We've got the Krager SS's, 15 inches, uh, good stuff, and you can see that that uh, disc, or the, I should say the caliper back there, relatively new addition. It's still got the, like, it looks like it's still got the plating on it, and the uh, disc doesn't look like it's got any heavy grooves or anything like that. And of course, we always check that when we do our brake inspections, but just uh, to confirm it, everything's in good shape here. Let's go check out the rear. All right, guys, back here we got 255 60 R15s, uh, same good looking Krager, uh, BF uh, Goodrich Radial TA, same thing that's on the front, good tires, never had a problem with them. You can see we got quite a bit of meat on the tire. All the trim here looks like it's in good shape, not all dented up like this thing's blown a tire off it or something like that. Uh, and relatively new looking uh, caliper in the back, just like the front, we got excellent pad life, uh, excellent looking disc on the thing, you know, there's no uh, grooves or anything cut into it. Very, very nice, the rims look like they're brand new. And uh, now we get to go look at the 396 under the hood. All right, guys, uh, under the hood, we got a 396 big block Chevrolet. Um, more specifically, this block is a, a 1969 model year engine. So it's not the numbers matching at the car. However, it is a Chevelle engine and it was a, uh, originally was a 325 horse motor. However, this thing's had quite a few little uh, performance upgrades here and there along the way. You can see we've got a set of headers on it now. We've got a nicer intake manifold, Edelbrock uh, Performer RPM, which is a dual plane intake, very streetable. And like I said, this car drives well enough to drive it to work every day. Um, on top of that intake manifold, we have a uh, Holley 4160. It's a four barrel uh, Holley carburetor, vacuum secondaries. Um, mechanical choke over, the choke is wired open, but uh, they've got it tuned up so well, you really quite frankly don't need it. Um, dual feed and it's a, uh, what did I say, 750 CFM, so that, that's very fitting for a big block. It's got plenty of fuel. Um, I know, I mean, for starters, this uh, thermostat housing, I know those are relatively expensive and very nice, and I think it's the O-ring style, so you don't got to worry about any leaks or anything of that nature. Modern uh, sending unit in the thing for your temperature sending unit, and that goes along with the uh, dash that's in the car. As you can see, it's got the uh, upgraded digital, or I should say digitally driven gauges in the dash. Um, you can see we've also got this pretty sweet uh, serpentine belt on this thing, or like the whole setup. It looks like it, it might be a March setup. I could be wrong on that. I can also see we have a uh, aftermarket water pump on the thing, a Stewart water pump. Very nice, a big electric fan out front. Uh, so once again, with the more modern, uh, modernistic upgrades of, on this car. Uh, k and air filter, you got the nice chrome dress up kit. Very nice, and I can see even like our fuel line here. This is uh, some high, like very nice, like AN, uh, braided lines here. I always love that stuff. It's very performance oriented. I love the way it looks. Uh, behind all this, we can see it looks like we got an aftermarket distributor in the thing. Taylor wires is what I got on my car. I love them. I've always, always have loved them. Uh, very, very nice job when they made the wires. You know, they cut them up to be really nice and neat. I like that. Optima battery in the thing. Uh, battery hold down doing its job. We can see we got, uh, looks like relatively new parts over here. Uh, the AC, this is an AC compressor by the way. This car does have AC and according to the mechanic, this thing felt like it would start collecting frost on the vents. So, I mean, it, it works very well. And it's not surprising looking at the setup here. Um, or I guess you say your catch can is way over here, uh, hidden in the fender well. And uh, speaking of fender wells, you can see the paint on this is just, it's pretty darn nice. There's really not much wrong with it. You can see also, uh, they made this nice uh, closeout panel over here for where all your original um, climate control stuff would be. And uh, you can see they kind of blocked it all off there. Did a nice job painting the firewall. I love the hinges for the hood. That, I'm pretty sure those were some pretty expensive pieces. They got like the cool shocks on them. A lot of nice geometry. I mean, that's a, uh, I give, I tip my hat to whoever engineered those things. They're pretty cool. And you can see we've even got like the, the 
heat deadener, the sound deadener underneath the hood. Um, looks like a relatively new master cylinder and brake lines. I can see here uh, all the shims and stuff like that for the front end, uh, the upper control arms, and all of it looks nice. Everything's greasable, which is something I like. I love being able to maintain my stuff. Um, over here, we've got, looks like a, a coolant overflow, a Canton coolant overflow can with a Griffin radiator. So they spent the money, they made sure it was nice, and uh, you can tell it when you drive this car. This, this apparently is a, an exceptionally well-driving car. Um, and I can tell it by the build. I mean, it's just a darn nice build. You can see all of our lines down here for our um, power steering pump. All that's nice. A more modern style power steering pump. I mean, power brakes on it. I mean, it doesn't get much nicer than this. This is a, a very, very well built car. And you can see nice AC. Uh, I believe this is called a condenser. I mean, it's downright sweet, guys. If you'd like to come in and drive this one, make sure to just come on down and make sure we got it at the shop beforehand. And I'm pretty sure if you actually drive this car, you're going home with it. It's, it, it. it's a very impressive car to drive. So that's about it. Make sure to call Tom with the number below if you'd like to have this monster parked in your driveway and let Vanguard Motor Sales park your dreams in your driveway.